We're nearing the end of our Pocatello City Council candidate profiles. KPVI News that works for you journalist Deanne Coffin joins us now live from the newsroom with one more. Deanne. Thanks, Matt. I met with Paul Schmidtlein today, who's running for seat one. He told me why he's the right person for the job. Paul Schmidtlein is an Idaho State University alumni. He is also a candidate for seat one of the Pocatello City Council. I think Idaho State University's vital to Pocatello. It's almost like the heartbeat of our city. He was also the founding member of the Watershed Guardians. Our watershed's so important. We've been building projects where there's no water, and so we have to bring water into projects. We need to start thinking smart. If we, if we plan on growing, and I don't think growth is the solve all end all problem to all things is just grow, 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 grow. We need to quit ignoring problems and facing our problems and we need to protect our water because water's life. Paul thinks the biggest issue the city of Pocatello is facing right now is the tax increases. He says one way to fix that is limit tax increases for people that have owned their homes for a certain number of years, but new residents would pay a higher tax rate. We do not want to tax the elderly out of their homes. We want people to be able to live in their homes until they pass. He also wants to see a boost in the economy through tourism. I think we need to get more signage and stuff coming into, into our city just to help people understand how cool Old Town Pocatello is and some of the different places where they can come visit and explore a historic western city. A city that has a relationship with the Shoshone-Bannock tribes that was built by the railroad. Paul believes he would be an asset to the Pocatello City Council because he says as a council member, he feels like he has the ability and the desire to strengthen the relationship between the city and Fort Hall. That's only going to help our city benefit benefit Pocatello. So instead of having an adversarial relationship with Fort Hall, I will bring someone who can talk to the, you know, talk to the people on the business council and have a working face-to-face -face relationship with them and men build bridges, not put up fences, but build bridges. Paul refers to himself as the blue collar candidate. I, I know how hard it is to raise a family and to struggle and to have to switch jobs and you know, I'm that candidate who stood by you at the post office and sorted mail. I'm that candidate who checked you out at the grocery store. I'm that candidate who went to school with you here. And I'm still fighting for my family and I'm fighting for you. I fight for Pocatello. Other candidates running for seat one on the city council are incumbent Jim Johnston, Del Spencer, and Chris Stevens. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI News That Works For You. Thank you very much, Deanne.